Welcome once again to the Harwood Shellfishing Lab. It's early October. We're nearly finished for this 2007 season of raising shellfish in the lab. Later on this morning, we'll have about 65th graders coming by for a tour. Little hands-on experience here at the Shellfish Lab. They'll be viewing both the quahogs that we've raised this summer and early fall, as well as the oysters. The kids will have a chance to take a look at the tanks and I'll describe the water temperature, salinity, and dissolved oxygen protocol that we go through. I'll describe growth rates and uh, how the lab runs and how it's managed and how we've done this year. The kids will also get a chance to look at uh, how the clams make their uh, growth from little necks to cherry stones to chowders. Those are some of the display um, clams that we'll be using as well as a uh, a big oyster so the kids can see the difference. There's also the recording tape and the log book and our instrumentation and they should be here shortly and we'll hopefully get a group picture. The shellfish will be raised here for a few more weeks and then we'll begin seeding the local shellfishing areas with both the quahogs and oysters. Maybe I'll get some of the kids to say good morning and hello to me before they pile out of the bus today. That's it. Keep coming all the way around. Can we get you all in here? I can touch. I can touch. Help me out in the shellfish lab. And what they'll do is they will help out with the tours to help out with recording of all the data that I just described. And they'll also help out with managing and maintaining the lab. Water is being pumped into the lab into that box. That box is one in the corner and one in that corner. And there's a screen above there that catches some of the sea grass, some of the fish that sometimes get sucked in there, some real small fish like a small pawpaw, or does anybody know what a pipe fish looks like? Yeah. They can get stuck. They actually survive. They actually make that trip, get stuck in the, in the screen, and I put them back out into the, into the Wilshire Harbor. After the tour, the kids are allowed to walk through the lab with their teacher and experience the lab as they would. Yes, question. Oh, I see um, a shell in one of those like tubes. Yeah. The question was, you see a shell in there? Yeah, right there. And it looks like that's an empty or dead uh, oyster that was growing on the side of the tank that I scraped out. So it's just the back side of a back side of a dead oyster there. Thank you very much for coming, you guys. You guys have a great day. You guys were great listeners.